take a look at this glove right here that's on my hand. This is a virtual reality glove, and every time I move it, you can actually see it on the screen behind me. This is what soldiers can use to prepare for real life situations. And soldiers that I talked to today told me that technologies like this are needed. We had a fratricide incident. And that is the last thing we ever want. Toby Brooks was in the United States Army for 26 years. And while he was in Iraq, he said technology misidentified an aircraft and soldiers shot it down. Later, he learned it was a U.S. aircraft with a soldier on board. Absolutely the worst feeling in the world. It's one thing to go to war, you expect, you know, suffering and loss. Uh, you never want it to be a friendly fire incident that caused it. Brooks said the incident could have been prevented with better technology. At the Association of the U.S. Army's Global Force Symposium and Exposition, new military equipment is on display, including technology that will identify aircrafts more accurately, something Brooks has always wanted. That's why we're here, to make it better in the future. A new virtual reality training program is also being introduced. Every, every soldier needs to be strong and confident in their abilities to be able to go perform and do their job. Um, one, one week league could really decide the fate of a mission. Also unveiled on Tuesday, a new military medical vehicle. It's faster and more protective and is already being brought to military camps across the country. If they need a medic, our vehicle can be there, it's protected, and get that, that wounded soldier or Marine back into a safe area. Whatever the greatest and latest technology is, that's what we want to provide our soldiers as they deploy. All of the equipment at the event is faster, stronger, and smarter than the equipment that the United States military has been using for years. The leaders of the event tell me that it's about time that the United States improves its defense. Reporting in Huntsville, Casey Albert and Wait 31 News.